The Ukrainian president carved out time on a very busy day, marking the somber first anniversary of the war to visit a hospital in Kyiv. Volodymyr Zelensky awarded medals to Ukrainian soldiers being treated there. Untold numbers of soldiers and civilians have been wounded, many severely, in this terrible conflict. Some are trying to rebuild their lives after having lost a limb or suffered other permanent wounds. Our next guest is in the process of opening a state-of-the-art medical center for prosthetics and reconstructive surgery for wounded soldiers and civilians. Andre Stavnitzer is the co-founder of the Superhuman Center. He joins us live now from Lviv, Ukraine. Andre, thank you so much for being with us. Let's talk about the numbers, um, because the numbers are really hard to come by here, just in terms of the number of civilians in Ukraine that have been wounded. Um, if you look at the figures uh, that have come out, that have floated around the media, it says anything from over 8,000 to over 13,000 civilians potentially uh, wounded. Uh, you and I spoke and you told me that uh, roughly around potentially more than 10,000 people in Ukraine are in need of prosthetics. But of course, the exact numbers are really difficult to come by. Um, and while those numbers, though their estimates, are disturbing, the numbers don't even begin, don't even begin to paint a clear picture of what Ukrainians have gone through, what wounded civilians have experienced over the past year. Can you shed light on that for us? Hi, Zane. It's good to talk to you again. Well, the actual numbers of victims are classified by the Ministry of Defense, so nobody actually really knows apart from the ministry. Uh, we come out of an assumption that uh, 10,000 and more people are waiting for their prosthetics. So that means 10,000 people have, le have lost their limbs, be it a hand or, or a leg or anything else. And if we talk about reconstruction surgeries, it's way, way more because government doesn't have time and money to take care about these people the, the the aim of the government is really to stabilize the patient make sure the life is safe and then the aesthetics of it or the reintegration unfortunately is not on top of their agenda right now so this is what we as superhumans are targeted to do <clears throat> our goal is to make sure that when victims of war uh, come to us they will be treated with top-notch prosthetics bionic arms bionic legs or we do face reconstruction surgeries, body reconstruction surgeries, and we reintegrate these people back into the society. So this is our ultimate goal, to make sure that if a person was an ice skater before the war and he lost his leg, for example, we have to make sure that we have the occupational therapist, we have the mental rehabilitation, physical re rehabilitation, and top-notch bionic leg for him to go back and train kids for figure skating, for example. So this is what we do. Yeah, because I mean, you know, when you've experienced something as horrific as losing a limb, let's say, I mean, obviously, it's not just about surviving. That's a key part of it. It's not just about that, though. It's also about the quality of life, because if your quality of life deteriorates um, by a certain amount, clearly there's going to be a toll on your mental health. I mean, just just talk to us about how you help civilians who have been wounded in this way, how you help with their mental health? Well, we have to make sure that uh, if the person is, is coming to our center, then he is <clears throat> he understands what's going to follow, that his lifestyle, unfortunately, is changed. And he has to live with his prosthetics, and he has to be able to operate with his prosthetics. And, uh, uh, for example, we have two of our first patients. We installed their uh, bionic arms. And to be honest, Zane, to see those guys operating their arms for the first time in months, uh, they were just, after two hours, so you, you put this bionic arm on mm -hmm. and then uh, you start training it because it's it's intuitive, but you still need to train it. You basically run, try to operate it. You learn to operate it with your remaining muscles on your, um, on your arm, for example. So you should have seen the eyes of these two soldiers uh, that after two hours, they trained the arm. They started, you know, running around the table, plugging and plugging a charge charger or drinking a bottle of water or lifting a phone. And then you suddenly realize how rewarding that is. And that, for me, you know, just looking at their eyes was the most rewarding thing I could ever imagine. I, I don't ask myself, why am I doing this just by looking at it? And now I know that, you know, we should be grateful for the things that we we take for granted. Did you know that in order to open the door, you need to use 36 muscles on your arm? I mean, that's mind blowing. So our goal <clears throat> is to make sure that these people get their quality of life back, they're mentally stable, 
they are reintegrated, they use the best practices from all over the world. We have occupational therapists and other doctors to help them. And this is basically what we do right now. So we're gathering the best specialists from all over the world to come and teach Ukrainian doctors, to transfer knowledge, to transfer experience, because this knowledge does not, this expertise does not exist in Ukraine right now. Using this opportunity, I would like to invite these people to come and work with us. We are not too far from Polish border. Lviv is considered the safest place. Joe Biden was recently in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. Come over, guys. Work with us. We need your help. An appeal, a very important appeal. Um, you know, one of the things you said that really touched me is just how much we take for granted in our lives. Just the idea of being able to button your shirt, for example. You talked about holding a or glass take a of shower. water taking a shower, um, yeah, typing up an absolutely. email. These are the things we take for granted. Um, Andre, Stavnik, We're truly blessed, so yes. Truly blessed. Thank you so much for the work thank that you you're doing out there. We appreciate it. Thank All right. You.